everybody. Happy Tuesday and welcome to Tunes Tuesday on Savage Reactions. I'm David. I'm Angie. I'm a little bit of everything. I'm a whole lot of rock and roll. So today, today, our second uh, Tunes Tuesday, I got something special for you. Our so, first official official one. Yeah, I guess you could say that. The first one was kind of a practice. Yeah. One, get practice. that. Practice. Not the game. Practice. Not the game. Practice. So. <laughs> I have a question for you. How do you feel about rap? Rap music? Not a big fan. Hip hop? Not a mm -hmm. huge fan. How do you feel about metal? Love metal. All right. Yeah. Well, what if I told you? Let me ask you one more question. Um, understanding that you're not a fan of rap or hip hop, if someone is really talented, has good quality lyrics, you at least have an appreciation have, for the talent that it might take yeah. for somebody to do. I have an appreciation. Yeah. I'm just not gonna play it in my car every day. Okay. Well, what I have for you today is the best of both worlds. So if you are a rap fan, if you um, like hip hop type stuff, if you're familiar with, you know, uh, fast rapping, things things like that, um, then you're probably going to be surprised when you hear this song. If you're a metal person, you're going to like this song. And you'll probably be surprised if you can set your prejudices aside and appreciate for the talent that, that's involved. So. Uh, that being said, I don't want to spoil it too much. I don't want to give away too much. Um, I do want to pause it, do some analysis, get your opinion on you know some of the some of the stuff, whether it's in the the rap genre in the beginning or whether it's the metal stuff towards the end. So, you ready for this ride? Let's roll. All right, let's do this thing. Uh, I'm gonna put on the closed captioning too. So sorry for my squinting. I don't have a uh, looks like closed captioning is on. Let's see. So who is it? To... Oh, yeah, I should probably <laughs> announce it. Sorry about that. Uh, so it's Falling in Reverse. Uh, this band is uh, led by Ronnie Radke. Um, they apparently have been around for at least a decade, maybe more. Uh, I just got turned on to them when I saw some other folks reacting to this. Um, as soon as I saw the first reaction video and it was a little bit into it, I was like, oh no, I'm gonna go listen to the full thing and see for myself what I think. And then I'll watch some reactions to see people's analysis and stuff like that. And wow, it's something else. So, Falling in Reverse, watch the world burn. Here we go. Falling in Reverse is the band. Yes. Watch the world burn is the song. You got it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Just real quick, right out of the gate, I know I apologize for stopping. We'll try to let segments go. Um, if you want to watch the full video, you know, uninterrupted, and then come back and watch us, or watch our reaction and then go watch it, definitely do that. But, you know, I want to highlight some things that I found in here. So, right out of the gate, that the production value, I mean, it looks like a Hollywood movie. It looks like a movie, yeah. Yeah, it's kind of sure. crazy. Yeah. Um, the the music um, it it sounds to me like they have taken some um, some like synthesized drum beats and in production they've sort of flipped them so instead of it being tss, tss, it goes tss, tss. oh yeah uh huh yeah. Right. so it kind of gives it a cool effect and the whole the whole melody is kind of it's kind of haunting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So let's go ahead and back it up and start again. Yeah. I got voices in my head again. Tread carefully. And I don't medicate it. Helps me temporarily. I got problems. 
problems, I got issues, yeah, apparently. Trauma that I'm burying, I think I need some therapy. I battle depression, I'm back with a message. I'm asking the question that if you hate me, why you acting obsessive? I'm past a point in no return, I'm being passive aggressive. I'm brandish a weapon, teach all you motherfuckers. I gotta pause it there because, I mean, so we don't have the headphones on to get like the full immersive experience of all of the sound and the music, um, so I don't know if you could pick up on it really, but there's um, some ho oh, oh, ho oh, oh, ho ho, like some yeah. angelic yeah, orchestral that. stuff going on in the background. <laughs> um, his his flow in the beginning is kind of interesting because he starts off with, um, you know, Tread carefully, you know he's got that that sort of mm -hmm. slow, and then he then he goes into the triples, yeah. yeah. And then and now as he's falling, um, he's gonna double that even more. So it's really, I mean. I um hey, don't unpause that. Okay, yeah. sorry. Um, I like the lyrics a lot. I do. I mentioned this before that I'm quite. I'm, I'm a lyricist. I'm big on the depth of, of songs, which is why I'm not a big Beastie Boys fan at all. <laughs> There's no depth there. But I, I really like this. And he's touching on a deep subject here with depression and everything and how you know he feels he needs therapy and um, you know he's sure he needs therapy and that uh, and talks about medication and stuff like that and then how it goes into how other people view him and that kind of thing like you uh, it's already starting off deep yeah i don't medicate it helps me temporarily yeah um so from a from a cadence and flow perspective it's cool and then yeah you're absolutely right those the lyrics i mean they're just really catchy and um you know i like the part two where he's like um, you say that you hate me, then why are you obsessing over me? Yeah, like that. Like, yeah. You know, if you hate me so much, just go away. Go, Leave me alone. Yeah, I've yeah. never understood. <laughs> why are you obsessing over me? The people that are me? like that. It's like, just, just go. Just, mm -hmm. just go. Yeah. All right, so let's just, I mean, obviously, you know, we both are seeing there's a lot of uh, really cool lyricism going on here. And that's the one thing, too. I was really excited to show her this video because... If there's one thing I know about my wife is that even though she's not a rap fan, that when she saw this, when she heard him and his flow, and un she knows that maybe it's not her bag, but the talent that it takes to do stuff like that. And then I knew that when she saw the lyricism and stuff that was that was going on in there, that that she was really going to appreciate that too. So I knew this was going to be a winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner, right out of the gate. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, there's even more. There's even more to come. It's, well, hit it. It's gonna get crazy. Let's go ahead and wind this back. Oh my gosh, how far back are you going? I'm. I'm gonna. No. I'm gonna do it from the top, cause then. Oh, for crying out loud. Cause then we can just go uninterrupted. Here we go. Jeepers. Here we go. Yeah, I got voices in my head again. Tread carefully. I need some therapy. I battle depression. I'm back with a message. I'm asking the question that if you hate me, why you acting obsessive? I'm past a point in no return. I'm being passive aggressive. I'm brandish a weapon. Teach all you motherfuckers. So, <laughs> everybody's so sensitive. Yeah, mm -hmm. nowadays everyone's so sensitive. Um, the way that he's using his voice, I mean, as I said, he's a, he's a metal guy, but obviously, I mean, he's showing his rap chops here. Mm -hmm. And the way that he's using his voice and, and doing that flow and enunciating, uh, get in the bar, get in the mm -hmm. car, and, yeah. you know, the bar, and... Ch -ch -ch charts Ch -ch 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 Yes, I love that. I love that part. That superhero landing. And 
in the production and the in the in the post production, uh, there's part where you've got all this build up, you got this, it's just going and going and going, and then all of a sudden, it drops out. Yeah. And then it kicks right back in. So it's like it's keeping you, it's keeping you engaged, it's yeah. keeping you guessing like what's gonna happen next. That's really cool. All right, let's wind it back a little. So oh my can... goodness. Right there. So, I mean, all, that all there, I mean, we've talked about the music stuff, but lyrically. lyrically yeah, like, oh. and it's so true, because, like, people will befriend you to take advantage of you, but as they're befriending you, you know, they're, they're telling you things yep. that later on, then they're hurtful to you. And it's like, you know, if I was as bad, if I was as mean as you, I could use this against you. I don't, because I'm better than that. Yep. But it's like, man, you you put this you know energy in so you could use me later on, and you told me these things. Yep. And a lot of times too, like he pointed out, a lot of times you know, like, and he's talking about it from a music industry perspective, and maybe people you know higher up and that sort of control or try to control the direction of his career and stuff like that. Um, you know, that that you're not a friend of me. You act like I don't know. Oh, no, he's yeah. like he's like I know, I yeah. know. That's why I've got all this stuff in my back pocket. Yeah, you know, one post and yeah. you're toast. Can we talk about the video too? The video production value, of course. We already commented in the beginning that it's just amazing. It's like the, a movie. It's like a movie, but oh, I like that dragon thing. It was snakes. snakes. There yeah, were two snakes. snakes circling around him, and then he got out of the way, and they ate yeah. each other. It was hard because I'm trying to. I can't process hearing the lyrics. I'm a step behind when I hear things. Mm -hmm. So I can't, when it's moving that fast, I can't just listen to it and have it sink in. So, I have, so I have to read the lyrics, and I can't read the lyrics and, and see, see what's, what's going on. So I'm trying to glance between the two, especially hearing it the first time. So a lot of videos for me. So I'm autistic. I have ADHD and yeah. whole alphabet soup. So there's all kinds of stuff that goes on for me. And so when I'm watching videos and whatnot on my own, I'll watch it a first time just to see the whole thing. And then I'll watch it a second time for the lyrics. And then I'll watch it a third time to see it all together now that I know what it's talking Create about. Create a composite you know, picture lyrics. of it. Yeah, so, yeah, so that's usually how I see things. So for me to see it for the first time, I'm trying to, to bounce between the two. So I, I know I'm missing some of the visual as I'm watching the the lyrics and reading them. But you know what's but... cool about reaction videos? We can go back and see it real quick. Let's yeah. back it up and keep going. Oh, there it is. Oh. oh. Yeah. Yeah. Are fucking with me mentally. I got people that don't like me in yeah, the snakes. industry. I can feel your energy. You were not Boom. a friend They get each other. <laughs> that about to go dark about to go disney yeah yeah i think so he, he talked about his history and i have i heard of these guys recently as well it was a completely different video that Which i we're showed do. you yeah. yeah we'll do later on and another time but um because it was funny because i was like hey check this out and you're like oh i just heard of these guys mm -hmm. but he was doing something completely different and um as I am, and the, the you know, and you with, the, with ADHD, you start going down a wormhole to try to learn everything. So I was learning about Ronnie, and I was learning about his history. So I know what he's talking about with his history, and yeah. it, it appears to me as for him, he's trying to put that behind him. He's learned from his past, and right. he's just trying to move forward. And there's still so many people that try to hold it against him, and that's real life. 
yeah. that there's things that you might do in your past that you're not proud of and you've learned from it and you know i mean how many years later can you be like i'm sorry you know okay it's done it's happened it's in the past let's move forward i'm not the same person i was then yeah you know there's the, the bulk of who you are is still the same but you've learned things yeah you know hey i just want to say to you, ronnie if if we're lucky enough to have you see this reaction video we love you man we don't yeah we don't hold your past against you. You know, we've all got a we've all got a past. We've all got a history. We've all made our mistakes. Some people's mistakes have been bigger than others, and everybody has to deal with the totality of whatever it is that they've done. But there's always hope for the future. Yeah. So you, you know. learn, you move forward, and become a better person from it. And I think, from what I've read, everything I've read about Ronnie and different interviews and whatnot, he's he's learned from his past. He's trying to be a better person, and I appreciate that. That's awesome. Yeah. So. I love it too. The, the I'm about to go Darth. I'm about to go Disney, <laughs> which is kind of an interesting uh, juxtaposition because uh, when you think of Disney, you don't think of when you think of Disney, you don't think of darkness or or the evil Sith Lord or whatever. Yeah, but then Disney bought. <laughs> but then Disney bought the whole Lucasfilm franchise and yeah. including all the Star Wars films. So now it's kind of eaten itself and become one big. Hmm. Oh. And this whole scene here looks like lightsabers, uh, like well, lightsabers, <laughs> or when the the um, the New Republic was setting up, you know, in Star Wars when they were doing the whole, you know, we're gonna take over the entire galaxy and stuff like that. So. Yeah, I'm nerd now. Stop <laughs> looking at me like that. I, I can geek out on some things. Star Wars. Star Wars is not one of them. I'm at the surface with that we're, one. And some of their little spin offs and stuff I'm good with, but it's very surface with Star Wars. We can both go deep on Star Trek. She doesn't go so much on Star, Star Wars. Star Trek, Doctor Who, Marvel. Yep. Not, not so much with Star Wars. All right, let's back it up here. Before this happens, <laughs> what did you think of that? I, fast rap. That it was, was really, really fast. It was but, so fast. I would say before that, like I like when he hits those hard. He does hit like a hard note, and he he does go a little metal into those. Ah, ah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. When when he's up on the with the red background and stuff. Yeah. 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 It's a. Uh, it's about to. Oh, okay. I want you to watch the drop. Listen. For, listen for the drop. It, for me, well, after it happens, I'll make my comments and see what you think as well. So. So, like that. <laughs> so now we're getting into your bag. Yeah. Which, how come my little bit of rock and roll, or my whole lot of rock and roll, isn't over here going like this? Come on, babe. You miss me going like this. Oh, okay. <laughs> I guess I was too focused on the video because I was just like, nah. Because I really, this is, yeah, like this that. is a song that could be a total driving song for me when I'm having one of those days where I just need to get out some angst. That's not like. Driving, driving, driving. And then he got really in that, just before this part, there he goes, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, okay, maybe not driving. And then he goes, duh, duh, duh. like, yeah, no. So I love when it <coughs> drops, then the beat drop. just drops out, and it goes into the, the skull demon face nuns that are behind him, and it sounds like a choir. Yeah. And can't control the monster that's inside. Yeah. Reminded me of Queen, almost. Oh, with that whole yeah. choir, the orchestra, operatic, operatic. Yeah. Oh, I love Queen. I know you do. Yeah. That's why I thought I'd say that because she loves Queen. Love Queen. 
and I knew as soon as I said it, you'd be like, one of that's, right. that's one of my top, yep. very top, very top favorites. Yep. Yeah. Let's look at that. I'm a typical super villain. I'm venomous. I can't control the monster any longer. That's inside. God. Can I just say, my ankles are tired just from hearing that double <laughs> kick drum. I'm just like, ah, yeah. oh, I'm not even, I'm not even doing that under the table. I'm not doing like a double kick drum, but just thinking about it, like, oh my gosh, uh, you know, mad, mad props to their, to their drummer too. Mm -hmm. We'll, uh, we'll talk about him in some future reaction videos as well. I sort of wanted to dedicate this one to, uh, to Ronnie, but he's got a. He's got a great band behind him, some yeah. some great guitar players and and, uh, and drummer. It's absolutely phenomenal. Yep. So. And just read the lyrics or I need to have the lyrics in front of me and listen to it. Remember back in the day when you buy a cassette tape and you just pull out the lyrics, the cover with all the lyrics and you're oh, reading was, through it as you're listening? That was great. Yeah, yeah, that was fantastic. So like I need to read back through that but those... You remember how thick those cassette tape <laughs> covers got to? You, depending on which, like, um, Appetite for Destruction? Yeah. Dude, pulled that cassette out and it was like. Da, 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 da. Whoa! So, kids, if we have any kids, anybody younger than, uh, you know, somebody that was born in the 19s, you know, the 19s, um, they, they would know, but some of you younger ones might not know. They used to have uh, music on these little things that had a magnetic tape that ran through it. <laughs> I'll forget it. Go look it up on Wikipedia or something. So, yeah, so lyrics were really good. Anything about the fear is what, well, you know, break your chains of the fear and stuff, which also, that's why I was like, I really need to go back and read all the lyrics to this because anxiety is something else that I suffer from. And I'm like, wow, you know, anxiety can absolutely be crippling. And, um, can make you stop going places or doing things that you would love to do and you'd love to get out there and whatnot, but um, you panic so much, nope. you know, and I, I have such bad anxiety about there's, there's small things. Did I leave a light on and we'll be halfway to our destination and I've made you turn around and go back because I got to make sure that the lights turned off. I'm afraid my house will burn down because the light bulb will get too hot. <laughs> but then there's massive things that give me anxiety and I've, I've had to get an MRI before. And I, my claustrophobia made me panic so much with my anxiety that I felt like I was drowning. It's just the best way to describe it. And I was like a, a big thing. And, and going places that have a whole lot of people, I have to start psyching myself up. Stadium tour last year. 
Yeah. I was stoked. I wanted to see these bands so bad, but it's so hard for me to go to a place, a stadium, with so many people, yeah. and um, it's really, really, really difficult. And uh, I have to. I mean, like he's saying about medications and all these other things, and you know, I'm sure there's therapy that would help, but there, it's hard. Like this, you know, it's where you go back into like it goes so deep into like the mental health, mental health issues. And um, there, it, there should be easier access. Not that there aren't doctors, but it's hard to get into a doctor quickly. You have to wait months. Plus, if you don't have insurance, it costs such a ridiculous amount. Even if you do have insurance, you have to budget that into your you know, account going. And um, that's why I think mental health really is a, is a big issue that needs to be addressed and whatnot. And I think he, he touches a lot on that. <laughs> he does, he does. And that being said, uh, too, if you're if you're watching our videos and you have issues with anxiety or you know maybe maybe even worse, there's all sorts of resources out there. Just know that um, that we love you. We're out here for you. Comment down below. Give us a like, share, subscribe, all that stuff. But um, you know, reach out to us in, in the comments. Page, we have too. our Facebook page. Uh, which savage is, reactions and, yeah well at least do our best to lead you in the right direction yeah you know because we don't want anybody to to get left behind or feel like there's no hope or anything like that there's also what is it 988 which is sort of like the national the suicide, suicide prevention hotline. suicide prevention hotline yeah so um, that being said we love you guys we got a few announcements to make here at the end um, so I just want to reiterate again don't forget to comment share like, subscribe, and that being said, I'm going to turn it over to my beautiful bride and let her tell you about some of the local events happening. There we go. So our band lineup for this weekend, um, we're looking at July 21st, 22nd, and 23rd. So Friday, July the 21st, we've got a few things going on. We have um, Plan B playing over at Gypsy's Roadhouse from 9 to 1. We got Guns Out playing at Lucky Strikes from 8 to midnight. Johnny City Band will be over at TC's Pub and Grub in Queen Creek from 7 to 10 p.m. And then um, usually G, it's uh, me and G, and that is G and Jenny. Jenny is on vacation right now, so it's going to be Gary and G will be playing over at Slaughterhouse, what the hell, uh, in Mesa from 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. That is on Friday. On Saturday... The 22nd of July, 2023, we've got Building 12 playing over at Stars Bar and Grill from 8 to midnight. Tattoos and Tequila. Love them. Love them. Tattoos and Tequila, Love all Nicole. these guys. Love Shout all out these to you. Ones. Um, Tattoos and Tequila will be back over at Lucky Strikes from 8 to midnight. Down for whatever is going to be at Kimmy's. Um, I think it's Kimmy's on Tatum from 8 to midnight. Open beta is uh, going to be at a new place, the Irish Wolfhound. Wow. Starting Love Open Beta. Yeah. They Love are open. super cool. So, yeah, you have to check out some of their videos. They do um, a lot of Irish music. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, Irish Wolfhound at 8 p.m. Guns Out will be uh, playing again. They're at River Bottom from 6 to 9. And then lastly, on Sunday, July the 23rd, G is going to be playing... Again. Again. Woo! With either Gary or Chris. We're not quite sure who's going to be playing with them. Jenny's still going to be on vacation. They'll be back over again at Slaughterhouse What the Hell from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. on Sunday. Awesome. So, a whole lot of bands playing this weekend. There you go. That's your local lineup if you're in the if you're in the Phoenix Valley, if you're in the East Valley. I mean, really anywhere in the Phoenix area. But um, Some of these are East Valley. Some of these, some are, these are, east, are up in some of... Phoenix. Some of West, them, yeah, North, it's all over the place. All over, all over the valley, but they're just some of our favorites, some of the ones that we have uh, partnered with, some of the ones that we just are developing relationships with and stuff like that. Great but, bands, great music, great people, yep. you know, and they, they all have a good following that, you know, you go there and you feel so welcome with yep. all these people, and the venues are fantastic, too. Yeah, we, we definitely are going to want to be shouting out some of the venues, too, as we go forward gonna establish some relationships there um, if you're a band uh, in in the valley um, and you want to connect with us and have us shout you out in our uh, Tuesday tunes Tuesdays um, 
if you if you meet the criteria, all right. <laughs> if you're mean to your people that come out or something like that, then you know it's not cool, man. It's not cool, man. But uh, yeah, if you meet the criteria, if you're cool people, you want to get to know your fans and you want to develop relationships and friendships and stuff. And the cool thing about these bands too, they support each other as yeah. well. So yeah. if they're not playing on a certain night and you're in the area, they'll, they'll come see you. They'll come a lot see of you. Times, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. They, they bring good fan base. Can, can we just real quick right. since... Um, well, we're going to tell them to to reach out to us Yeah. on, um, on our Facebook page, Savage Reactions. You can yeah. just, uh, there's a little button on there that you can click, send me a message and um, I'll check into you guys. Yeah. All this information is going to be posted in the video in the description down below. Um, but I did want to say since, um, since you are wearing your tattoos and tequila shirt and I did shout them out. And I shouted out Nicole, um, to be fair, her husband said that he started the band. It's just, it's just that- Oh, Sean. Yeah, it's just that Nicole is so cool. Well, Sean's cool too. I mean, you're cool, Sean. <laughs> but, I mean, you know. No, the we, love, band is we cool. love all you guys. I'm right. just playing. You know who else is in that band is G, who is in three other bands, yeah. at least. G, you're working too hard, man. Come on. Oh man, I think Slug. I don't think it's work for him. He loves it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. We love you all. We love you, Sean. We love you, Nicole. G. All of you. All the bands that we mentioned. If we mentioned you, it's because we love you. Yep. So, again, thanks everybody. Like, share, subscribe. Like, share, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Rock on, you guys. Bye.